Hi, this is a video addendum to uh, the previous uh, time reversible markup chain video part one. Um, in this in this video, we're gonna prove uh, um, the conditional distribution uh, of the past, given the present and the future, is nothing but uh, the past. Uh, just uh, given, I think here I forgot to write down. This is uh, instead of uh, x sub m, this should be. Uh, x sub m plus 1, all right? And uh, um, first we notice that because of the memoryless property of markup chain, uh, the conditional distribution uh, of the future is independent uh, with the past. Which is... Uh, the value of x sub m plus 2, let's say um, this is uh, i2 and x sub m plus 3 is i3, all right, uh, given, let's say x uh, sub m plus 1 is i, is uh, independent uh, with uh, uh, x sub m is j, which is the past. Uh, now, um, for the left side of this equation, right here, and let's say this is the equation star, um, star, which is the left side of uh, the equation above, by um, definition of uh, conditional probability, which is uh, a given b is uh, probability of a b divided by the probability of b, and uh, this can be written as, uh, which is uh, x sub m is j, x sub m plus 1 is uh, i, and x sub m plus 2 is i plus 2, etc. Divide by i. Um, x sub um, m plus 1 is i, x sub m plus 2 is i sub 2, and x sub m plus 3 is i sub 3, etc. Um, now we're going to further use the conditional probability used in uh, the Bayesian um, formula. So we rewrite the top and the bottom using conditional formula again. Um, which is, uh, for this time, we condition um, on um, this guy, okay? So, um, using this, we can have, by the way, uh, we use this formula reverse, that is uh, uh, probability of A, B, but this time, instead of a condition on A, we condition on B, that is... Uh, I'm sorry, condition on A, B condition on A times probability of A. So what happens is uh, uh, this is now condition probability of x m plus 2 is i2, x sub m plus 3 is i3 condition on x sub m plus 1 is i, x sub uh, um, m is j times the probability of x sub m plus 1 is i, x sub m is j, right? And now uh, we apply the same thing to the bottom as well. The bottom becomes, this is x sub m plus 2 is i2, x sub m plus 3 is i3, etc, etc. Given x, only x sub m plus 1 is i. Um, times x sub m plus 1 is i, all right? And now if we look at um, this term right here and this term right here, we will find that due to the markup chain's memoryless property, all right? So here we use Markovian uh, property. That is uh, this event right here, and and this event right here, 
this is a past this is a future they are independent so um, this conditional probability right here is equal to this conditional probability right here and which means um, they can cancel and we end up with uh, this simple formula which in turns we use conditional probability definition again this becomes uh, x sub m being j given x sub m plus 1 is i and now we have proved um, the formula and now let's uh, look back what is a star um, it's right here so we have proved star is nothing but only um, the current if we are interested in the past <laughs>